guys, so today I'm filming a video on how I finally got my skin to clear up. So when I was a lot younger in school, in sort of years 8 and 9 and 10, uh, my skin really wasn't good. Um, but since then it has got a lot better. However, it got better so as it, you know, looked clear from a distance. But even still, under the skin, like if I looked in the mirror, like the bathroom mirror where there's the light right above it, if I angled my face, I could see under the skin, it was like a really horrible texture, and that was what I was just like, I need to get rid of. And I've like tried so many things, and it's only really within about the last three weeks or so, I think I've finally found a solution and cleared it up. So I thought I'd make a video now, because I think my skin's finally at a stage now where I'm really happy with it. Like obviously there's always room for improvement, you know, everything can always become better. But for right now, I'm so happy and I'd love it if it stayed this way. So yeah, this is what I've done. So it's only really within about the last three weeks or so that I've changed my skincare products. So I'll probably make a whole new skincare routine soon. Um, but before then, for about the past two years, I've been using Dermalogica. And I think Dermalogica is a great brand for just balancing out your, and evening out your skin and just making whatever your skin problems were just better and more neutralised. So, you know, my skin was a lot more oilier, whereas this helped it to become a bit more combination, which is the oily T-zone, drier cheeks, but also oily on top of the cheeks, which my skin is still a bit now. From there, I basically use the pre-cleanse, which is an oil-based cleanser to take off your makeup um, and take basically everything, clean it on the surface. And then I use special cleansing gel as my second cleanse, which is where it's sort of clean within the skin. After that, I do daily microfoliant, which is like a white powder that sort of dissolves the dead skin cells. And then I just use whatever sort of moisturiser. Um, and that really worked well to just sort of get me nicer skin, but it was the underlying texture. So the cleanser that I've been using is the Alpha Hate Balancing Cleanser. And basically all these products I'm going to show you have just added sort of more moisture to the skin. And I think that's what it really needed, because it's important when you do have sort of more acne prone or oily skin, it's important not to strip the skin, and sometimes more moisture is kind of like moisture plus moisture cancels it out and sort of evens it out a little bit so this has been really good different sort of sort of cleanser than I ever used so I was using special cleansing gel before which may have been a bit too stripping but you know it's not as bad as using like clean and clear but using something like this has really really helped um but apart from that I think it's the incorporation of all my different so products that I've been using on the skin and I've got here Hydroluron which is hyaluronic acid and so much moisture and hydration to the skin because this holds up to a thousand times its weight in water working in the cabins because I'm an air hostess and um, really dries out the skin so this just giving the moisture and yeah it's just somehow worked on the texture underneath the skin um, I've drunk a lot of water, I've really stepped up the water intake over the past couple of weeks or so, trying to drink about 8 glasses of water a day, I know that's difficult, what I try and do is just every time when I eat a meal or a snack or anything, get a glass of water, and for every bite of food I have, I have a big gulp of water, and then you'd be surprised, like, you can get through two big glasses in like one meal or something, because even I am someone that I like water but I could never just drink it by itself, so whenever I've got food, with my dinner I can get through like three glasses, if you really just try it's easy but obviously don't rush into it all at once, just gradually step it up, um, add in like every three days, add in another glass. Yeah, and the other thing I've been drinking is green tea and I knew for so long about all the benefits of this drink but the problem was before I tried it and I just could not handle it, I was like this is disgusting and when I thought I'd try it again this time, literally on the first day or few days I literally would sip a bit and literally my face was great, my eyes would wrinkle up and it was awful. Now I can drink it perfectly, just like sipping anything. So I think it's something you've just got to be patient with and after a while you will be able to sort of handle the drink, like the taste of it, because it is a bit disgusting, but it's just got so many benefits, like clears all the toxins, flushes the skin, it's just great and that since I've been drinking that, that's really, really made a difference. I've been doing more exercise. I've been doing Lucy McConvert's results with Lucy. That, I think just doing exercise, being more active helps. I've been eating a bit healthier in general, but I still eat loads of chocolate and cookies. So obviously if I cut them out, that must going to be even better. But by just sort of trying to be a little bit healthier, it's helped a little bit. So doing a lot would help a lot. So yeah, that's a good thing. Um, and then here is our H Liquid Gold, which has just been like a miracle product. And this has glycolic acid in it. And I also have this mask here from Ren, which is the glycolactic radiance renewal mask. 
both of these, I use this every three nights. I use this about once every other week. My other mask that I use is Super Facious by Una Brennan. The tea, flower, deep clean, pore purifying clay mask. This one I use every three days and it really draws everything out of the skin. And then I just top it with a serum, my Estee Lauder, um, Vance Art Pegs, it's just great. So every three nights I will do that. The following night after doing this, I'll use my liquid gold. And then on the third night, because it goes in a row of three, I just use the serum on its own. So it kind of goes like, if this was the week, it'd be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then on Sundays, just the odd night, I might use this red mask. So these are just some really, really great products, um, all of which have really helped my skin. Um, and also, just trying to leave the skin alone, just, I know it's difficult, but just trying not to pick up things on your skin helps. I know also, um, there's been times I've had more sleep, like when I had some time off work two weeks ago, just because it was some holiday to use up, my skin improved a lot. When I'm working, I only really get about five hours sleep a night, which I know is not good, but that just shows how much sleep can help. So these are just some tips. If you want me to do a video, you know, showing a bit more, talking about my skin, doing the skincare routine, I'm probably gonna do those soon. But here, I just wanted to share some of the things with you that are really working. And one last thing, here is my Origin Super Spot Remover. I had this for like a year, but I never really got into it, but I really have done recently. And I can't remember the ingredient that it's got in it, but I've just put this, like dotted this on little spots or like really problematic areas, and that just really helps to get rid of them. So yeah, these are the things I've been using, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with them. So yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.